Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and today I want to talk about the Coyote missiles. And as you saw in that intro clip, the Coyotes are actually pretty damn good. Now, if you don't know what the Coyote missiles are, um, they're compact, short-range missiles that lock onto enemy aircraft and inflict light damage. Well, that sounds pretty straightforward, but however, they are different. Um, they're actually fired like a dumb fire rocket in a volley of six. Um, you can shoot off as many as you want. Um, and then what will actually happen is once you get close, once the missiles get close to your targets, then they will actually lock on and follow your target. This isn't used like a Tomcat where you fire from a long range away um, and they lock onto your target and follows them all over the map. It doesn't work like that. You have to actually get it pretty close. And with their uh, acceleration, um, you know, it's, it's better now, and I'm going to talk about this in a second, but um, you have to lead your targets a little bit as they're moving in order to make sure that you're actually landing your shots. So, um, Coyote missiles recently went through some changes, just like the Hornet did. Um, the changes that happened was the uh, rounds per minute increased from 200 to 400, so it doubled, which is a pretty significant increase when you're talking about damage per second. And then the projectile acceleration increased from 2 meters a second to 10 meters a second. That's a huge difference. Now, it sounds like they got buffed way, way, way big time, and they did. And When it, the missiles first came out, they were still fun and they were still unique, but they weren't real effective. They didn't do enough damage. You couldn't get enough of them off. You didn't land enough of the shots. They were just blah. With this change, they border a little bit on too good. Now, I'm not going to be screaming OP here, and we need to make changes to all this. However, they are a little too good where they stand right now. On top of the fact that it does kind of fall into that category of almost skillless weapons, these do take more skill and more practice to be good at, and you have to put yourself in more dangerous situations, i.e. dogfighting and getting up close, to be effective with these. So they're not as bad as the Tomcats or the more traditional air-to-air -air missiles. That being said, when you're using Hornets and you go up against somebody that has uh, afterburner pods, you are at a huge disadvantage. When you're using Coyote missiles and you go up against somebody that's got um, afterburner pods, it's a pretty fair fight. Um, if you've got an excellent pilot using afterburner pods, um, they're going to probably win if you're using Coyote missiles. If you've got a mid-level to average level um, pilot using um, afterburner pods, you're probably going to win using Coyotes. I, wherever you fall on the skill range, your results may vary, but that's kind of what I saw in practicing with these and using these. Um, either way, I think that's okay, because what's happening then is you've got two different options for an air-to-air -air setup. One's going to benefit you in the damage output category, and one's going to benefit you in the maneuverability category. You just need to kind of pick what you're better with and what you want to use. If you're not very good with the nose gun, you're going to probably want to carry the Coyotes. Now... There's a couple things that I think probably need to happen with the Coyotes to make them about where they need to be. I like the rate of fire for where they're at, and I think what the idea is to be putting constant damage downrange. So you fire off your Coyotes, then you um, switch to your nose gun while that reloads, and you move back. I think that rate of fire kind of fits in with that well. Um, what I would like to see happen is the acceleration dropped a little bit, um, maybe down to like six meters a second or five, you know, five, six, seven, somewhere in that ballpark, somewhere between where it started and where it is now. Um, what that would do is it's going to require a little bit more skill as far as getting the targets close or getting your missiles closer to the target. I think something like that kind of uh, will help tone down this weapon's effectiveness a little bit. Um, and then maybe, just maybe, and I haven't really done a lot of testing with just the damage piece of this, so I, I may be talking out of my ass, but um, maybe the damage, per, the uh, actual damage done by each missile may need to be lowered just a little bit. I don't know. Acceleration change may be enough, but there probably needs to be some small tweaks to this weapon. The other thing is, this weapon is strangely effective against uh, infantry. And it, it always feels like when new weapons are introduced, they're effective in situations where they're not supposed to be. And I think everybody's probably screaming about the Phoenix right now, um, which is probably a fair complaint. But with that in mind, it's really easy to kill infantry with these weapons. And you can kill several at a time because they do quite a bit of splash damage. Um, they actually, you get six of them. So while you may not be able to kill as many with like a full volley of rocket pods, you're doing a pretty damn good job, and if people are already damaged in that area, the increased spread, um, or not spread, the increased splash damage is significant and will get you kills. 
So I think right now the Coyotes are actually an interesting anti-infantry option and makes you pretty good in the air, which I think makes this weapon a little too versatile. So we probably either need to see resistance values changed for infantry or we need to see the splash damage decrease a little bit. I don't think it should be useless against infantry, but it's a little too effective where it stands right now. All right, so let's get to the recommendation portion. And the question then becomes, should I purchase or unlock these weapons? I think you could unlock these coyotes if you wanted to. And I think they are fun to use. And I think they are effective, especially for people that aren't as good as, uh, you know, some of the top tier pilots as, uh, you know, aiming with their nose gun. Um, Lock-on missiles can be a little bit lame, um, and I'm putting up a little uh, message from Argatar when I was talking to him in-game about this. Um, you know, he's kind of on that same page. The lock-on mechanics are kind of dull. They don't require a lot of skill. However, I do feel these are a little bit more skillful than using, like, the Tomcats. And hands down, if you're just looking for something that's effective, these are effective. Now, I don't want to sell you on them and say that this is going to how it, or this is how it's going to be long term because they are going to get changed. I'm almost positive of it. So where it ends up going, I'm not sure. So don't come to me for your refunds if you don't like what happens to them. But right now, where they stand, they're pretty damn good. So um, if you guys have questions about the uh, about the coyotes, let me know. Um, questions about anything else, let me know. I'll be talking about like the locust cannons in the next video. Um, unless another patch happens and I need to do another follow-up. So uh, if you liked the video or found it interesting, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. And uh, stay tuned for more. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.